Hello, so today I'm going to show you how to install OctoHue onto OctoPrint so you can get your Philips Hue lights to notify you when your 3D print is done. Firstly, you want to click the settings wrench, then click plugin manager, then get more and search for OctoHue. Click on the install radio button and then the plugin will install. One of the dependency requirements is called NumPy, and that can take between 10 and 15 minutes to install first time. Once installed, you've got to restart OctoPrint, so make sure you're not printing anything, and then press restart. Providing there was no errors during the installation, once the server starts back up, you'll see a little light switch toggle that shows us that the installation has been successful. This is the tricky part. We need to integrate Hue with OctoPrint. So click on the settings wrench and go to the OctoHue settings. We now need to get the Hue Bridge IP address, generate a username on the Hue Bridge, and select the light we'd like to use. If you click on the Philips Hue discovery link in the description, it should show you the IP address of your Hue Bridge. Some users have very strict home security settings, so you may need an IP scanner to find the Hue Bridge address. I use an application called Angry IP Scanner. Once we have the Hue Bridge IP address, we can generate a user for OctoHue. Just click on the debug link in the description, making sure to put your IP address in. We're now going to run a quick test on the API, so enter the URL and the message body as per the description, but set your own username. Once you click post, you should get a response back from the Hue Bridge asking you to press the button. This tells us that communication has been successful, so press the button on top of your Hue Bridge and then click post again. So the post has been successful this time and we've been given a user ID. Copy that user ID into the light information link in the description. If successful, you'll see a list of all your Hue lights with the corresponding IDs. In my case, I want to use ID 21. Head back to the OctoHue settings and enter the HueBridge IP address, the username, and the ID or group ID you'd like to use. You can now pick the colors you'd like for your OctoPrint status. Hit save and that's setup complete. You can test the light by toggling the light switch on the home screen. And that's everything done. I'm going to be doing a OctoPrint series, so if there's a plugin you'd like to request, then feel free to leave a comment. Thank you.